Hi everyone, it's Rachel here and I'm at Mum's Place and she's pulled out some of her amazing stitching um, that she would like to sell. So I'm just showing you a couple of cushions. I'm, I'll have to measure them to see the size. They might be 35 by 35 centimetres or 40 by 40, I'm not sure. Um, but she has two of these beautiful cushions. They're made with antique Japanese fabrics and they are completely hand stitched and they've been beautifully made um, with an invisible zipper so you can hardly oops sorry out of focus just forgive me I'm hand holding my my phone um, the zipper is invisible and a beautiful fabric should bore dyed fabric on the back and then the other cushion is I'll come back out a bit this one here they kind of coordinate together these two um, typical mum fluffy bits here and just incredible hand stitching everywhere. So they're the first two cushions. And then I have, just a minute, I've got to reach over and grab them. Two, no, three other cushions. Now this one is big, so I'm gonna to have to come out a bit. It's a nice long cushion. Um, we would sell them without the inserts. Um, so that way it was cheaper to um, ship and and these beautiful woven fabrics here. There's some beautiful antique hemp. And then they're all mostly antique Japanese fabrics, except for the hemp and the ticking, obviously. But just gorgeous. So I hope I'm not making you feel seasick. And then I'm just going to flip this one over. And that's what's on the back. Oh, it's got a tear here. Mum's going to fix that before it goes. It's not a tear. The um, beautiful border has come unstitched. So we're going to stitch that up. Um, this one and and so that will be repaired before it goes and it's just a slip cover and then I have another one similar size these are very long these ones I'll have to measure them so they look lovely on a couch or on a bed and then similar style woven fabrics here this one is nearly all antique Japanese fabric and then and again, the similar, same fabric on the back of that one. And then this one is a square cushion here with beautiful weaving and hearts. It's almost like a nine patch, but there's more than that. Um, and yeah, it's square and it's on, on mum's favorite hemp that we once found many years ago and we don't have any more. And again, it has the slip back with no zipper. And beautiful little piece added here so those are the cushions that she's selling um, and I think I'll post them maybe you could just DM me on um, you could send me a email I'll put my email in the description box and just say just do them in order of cushion um, as they were shown and I can give you more information about them so thank you so much for watching I'll attach some photographs at the end of the video and I will see you again soon. Hi guys, it's Rachel here and I'm just going to show some more things of mums that she is willing to sell. So this is a beautiful, just a, a simple bag to carry things around. We tend to carry our stitching around in these sorts of bags. It's been completely stitched um, and has a gorgeous heart on there and most of it is antique um, Japanese fabrics and I'll just, I put something inside just to puff it up a little bit. I put a bit of the the ticking inside um, and quite often mum just folds that down so you can see the ticking inside and make it a little bit smaller um, you can fold it right down and and then it will sort of stand up as well so that's the bag I've got quite a few pieces of stitched things so this is a really big piece it was meant to be made into a cushion but you could cut it down and make it into a journal cover if you wanted to and it's on this beautiful hemp and reuse the gorgeous hemp behind so I just pan around I hope I'm not making you sick because I'm hand holding the the camera and I hope you can hear me because the cars are making a lot of noise here um, and then we have this oh this is really beautiful I would frame this one um, this is on a beautiful um, old Thai hemp that's been hand dyed and it's got little fluffy bits down here and it's just beautifully coordinated lovely piece of lace there I just thought that would be beautiful in a frame. This is one of my favorite pieces. This is one of the, this is amazing. 
so I'll just pan over it for you. It's quite long and I thought it would make a really beautiful wraparound journal cover or you could stitch it, I'll just pan out a bit, you could stitch it onto a piece of bigger hemp or, or ticking and make a pillow out of it or cushion out of it if you wanted to. But I just wanted to show you what it would look at all the stitches there. I just wanted to show you what it would look like as a journal cover. Wouldn't that be beautiful? And then that's the, what the back would look like. Just gorgeous. So that's that one. That's my favourite. I'm tempted to keep it myself. Um, and then there's a couple of these. These kind of go together. Again, all of these things could be stitched onto a piece of ticking or hemp or linen. And they could be made into cushions. Or otherwise, I would turn these on their side and make them into journal covers. Have it that way. and then, Oh, sorry, I'm folding it. You can't see. I would, you know have it that way or that way and then that, that's one so I'll just show you that properly here and then they're about an A4 paper size maybe a little bit bigger and then that's the other one there so there's those two and again look look at the stitching on the back and then oh these are gorgeous there's a few of these there's one two and three that's the third one there I'll just show you this so we'll look at this one on linen and mum's left attacking in as usual and then here she always leaves attacking this one's got a little tag it's a pocket I think it might be stitched in I'm not sure and then that one's a gorgeous cross and they have they are all attached to a piece of fabric here calico so you could add like a ticking or something like that or, or a linen or something. You could even do like a doily collage sort of thing there and make it into a journal cover, I was thinking. You could complete that like that. They're all the same. They've all got the extra bit on the back as well. These are, these are my favourites after the other one. So they're gorgeous. Oh, and here comes another favourite. This one here is absolutely gorgeous. And again, this could be framed. You could attach it to something, make it into a pillow. Um, or turn it on its side, fold it, and make a wonderful journal cover. Flip that over. And here. So there we go. So these are the pieces that mum is willing to sell. Um, I'm going, again, you can email me. Um, I'll put my email in the description box and I'll add some photographs at the end and just tell me in order of which one that you wanted in the order that I showed them, if you want one. So thank you so much and I hope everybody is well and I will see you again soon. Bye.